Welcome along, Rum fans. It's your rambling rum spare here, Pixie. And Big Dave has come in with another sample for me to try. Um, I want to say, first off from the bat, thank, obviously thanks to Dave for giving me the sample. I think I have tried another rum from this brand before and I did like it quite a bit. Um, but it isn't really, it wasn't really something that I would buy again. Not that it isn't worth buying again, just that there's so many rums out there. I tend to buy newer stuff or different stuff. Haven't ever tried this particular bottle though. And um, yeah, so we'll get into it. But um, I did let my dad try it and he is into this sort of strength, this sort of type of rum to a degree. It's maybe a little bit too sweet and a little bit um, too spiced for him. He generally likes his straight rums, but this one is an interesting one for him and he says it's got a big kick. So let's get into it. Um, obviously the bottle is just a sample bottle that uh, I passed on some um, some of my rum to Dave and he's passed some back to me. This is Cut to the Overproof. So I tried Cut to the Spice, I'll say, within the last couple of years and really liked the vanilla, the heavy vanilla and, the, you know, it was an easy to drink spice rum. It's in the cheap bracket enough that you can just get it off Amazon or wherever you want to get your rum from. And it's it's definitely worth picking up a bottle if you haven't tried it. It kind of sits in what I would call the the budget bracket with lambs and dead man's fingers. And they're all solid rums for the price. And I think Cut to the Spice is a little bit, shall we say, maybe a little bit better I'm trying not trying to remember what it was like, but it's wor it's worth trying basically, um, and make your own mind up with that one. But this is cut to the overproof. I believe it is seventy five percent ABV, which is very strong. Um, very rare I'll have a rum of that strength. I'd like to try them, but I, I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy a full bottle. Or it wouldn't be a bottle that I would have on a regular basis. Um, so I've got my trusty Dalek glass. And we'll... So yeah, I'm getting strong spice notes with a slight overpowering of the vanilla. Maybe that's why I wasn't massively keen on... Um, uncut to the spice because there is that overpowering vanilla and as much as i love vanilla if that's all i'm getting i feel like it diminishes the rest of the quality of the rum and the quality of the spices in there because it's just vanilla and it's just a nice easy smell and easy um, taste to go over the top of everything um but chin chin i was about to drink it from the bottle there do i I think I can do half and have have some more, and maybe even pass it on. But yeah, it, the alcohol smell it hits your nose. Um, you've got the you've got the vanilla and the spice, as I said, but it's not. I don't think it's a unique smell or anything it, it, it's quite common if you like spiced rum and in general and you like vanilla and spiced those kinds of flavors those kinds of scents those kinds of palette that kind of palette you'd probably love this um providing you can handle the kick so let's see if i can Oof. 
That is a serious burn. Mmm. That's not what I was expecting at all. I will say it is smooth. But it is, it's got a big, it's got a real burn to it. Ah, it's, yeah, it's definitely got some kick. That would probably be really nice in a spice run punch. I think that would be what I would put it in because it's got that kick, but it's not, there's some flavour there. There's enough flavour. It's like, I'm getting mainly cinnamon, ginger and vanilla. And just kind of, yeah, just big spice, big big vanilla notes, but a big kick. Um, you definitely get more cinnamon, and the more you go back to it, if you sort of like really go for a full full on sniff, you get yeah mainly cinnamon, but if you just you know glance over it you you get the mixture that you're supposed to get i guess um yeah i wouldn't i probably wouldn't buy a bottle myself because of the the percentage is a bit too like i like to enjoy my drinks i think with that i'd probably i mean i can pardon me i can feel the burn on the back of my mouth uh the back of my throat and like i get the sense that neat that would not be what you want in a neat sipper it's definitely not a neat sipper for me um maybe like i said good in a rum punch a spice rum punch maybe at a push you'd be you'd it'd probably make a good bang good good decent rum and coke or a rum and ting or rum and apple uh like i said i tend to drink rum either neat if it's a really good one and i like it drink it neat or on ice then if it then outside of that i'll drink it with apple juice lemonade or in cocktails and um, maybe ting occasionally as well those are my sort of general avenues for rum drinking um and to be honest i think this would i want to try this in a in like a cocktail maybe a painkiller might work in a painkiller it's strong enough to go in a painkiller. I mean, I feel like this is too strong for me to, to like... You wouldn't have a session on it. No way. Um, but, yeah, if you've tried Cut to the Overproof, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, personally, it's a solid solid rum, but I don't think it beats Puss's Gunpowder Proof. I don't think I'd be getting a regular stock of it to to keep me going or anything it's it's one of them it's nice to try it it's got a kick it'd be great in like your uh, your spiced rum cocktails mm -hmm. but for the time being i'm gonna enjoy what dave's given me and turn my attention to the rest of the rums in the world so yeah i've been rambling rum spurt that's been cut to the overproof uh, thanks to Dave, and I will see you in the next one.